Hi, and welcome back to Quicker. I am Jimmy, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you some of the features of your Quicker web library. The Quicker web library provides you with your own space on the internet for you to store everything about your research documents, their metadata, and your annotations of those documents. It allows you to get at your documents from the lab, from your home, from your laptop while you're traveling, and even on your iPhone if you forgot to take something with you to read on the train. Let me show you how easy it is. When you fire up quicker, you are presented with a screen that looks like this. The first time you run it, you may not yet want to sign up. You may just want to try out the features. Well, here is the guest account. You click this button and you can use all the features of quicker, test it out, import a library, see that you like quicker. Once you know you do, you can sign up using this button here. It'll take you to our website where you can get yourself a username and password and your quicker web library. Once you have those details, you type them in here and hit enter. Once Quick is loaded, you'll notice down in the bottom right corner that I am logged in. If ever you want to log out and log in as someone else, well, it's as simple as clicking that button. If you don't press the log out button, Quicker will remember your login details for next time, so you won't have to type your password in every time. To synchronize, with, you know, to synchronize your library with the internet is extremely straightforward. There are two ways of doing it. The first way is to press this button here, where all your metadata is synced with your internet library. So that is all the information about your PDF documents except the PDFs themselves. You may want to use this, especially if you're on the road on a laptop with limited hard drive space and you don't want to bring your entire library with you. You simply sync using this button. You'll get a list of all your papers and then you can simply right click them and download the PDF from your web library. Alternatively, if you're at the lab or you're at home and you have a huge computer there and you want all your web documents, well, it's as simple as pressing this button here. It'll sync not only the metadata about your documents, but the PDFs themselves. Every one of your PDFs will be in sync forever on your home computer, your work computer, and your laptop. Even better, if you go to your website, once you've signed in, you'll see a web library becomes enabled there which basically shows you a list of all the files that you have in your Quicker web library. You can search by title, by authors. You can also search by any of the tags that you might have associated with those PDFs while you're using Quicker. And to open the documents is as simple as pressing that download button and it will open inside your PDF viewer. If it's on your iPhone, it'll open in the PDF viewer on your iPhone. If you're on your laptop, it'll open on the PDF viewer in your laptop. That's just one of the many features that Quicker has to offer you. I hope you enjoy it. Chat soon. Bye.